Hello everyone, uh, Remedy X here, and today I'm going to be kind of redoing a video. Um, I'm doing a free-to-play series where uh, I am testing out Fiona, uh, because I was originally really looking forward to watching Barry do it, but he swapped over to Russell. Totally understandable, because Russell's definitely going to be a better first E5, but I want to see if she's actually that good. Um... I think she's actually a lot better than people give her credit. Now, this is a little bit of a rehash from my first video because my first video had really crappy quality. So I'm going to just be going over some of the stuff that I said in there, doing my dailies here, etc. Um, so Fiona does very good in Tower, and she's doing pretty good in Aspen Dungeon so far. Uh, I actually have Aspen Dungeon open, so we can try to do that here in a little bit. Um, and we can actually show you where our progress is at on that. So, in case you don't know, by the way, in the... Well, I'll show you in a second. You can get an extra two profit orbs every day right now. Um, if you go into the events and the Midsummer Supply, um, if you buy this right here, it's 1500 gems for two profit orbs every day so you actually get 14 which is really good now this is also a very good deal if you are spending a little bit of money this is 20 bucks but you get a gloria copy plus you get 35 relics plus you get 35 profit orbs so you know that's not quite half a completion of profit orbs but if you buy both of these uh what, 14, 49? So yeah, over half. So, you know, if you get both of these, you have half a profit orb here. So, um, also we're getting the loot, the uh, campaign loot drop event. Um, generally, you should be turning this into profit orbs. Now, later in the game, if you're trying to save up to do a 2,000 heroic scrolls, that is also pretty good. Um, nothing else here I think would go too crazy. Uh, Fiona is really good, so maybe if you have a little bit of the Universal Crystals, you can do that. We definitely don't have them, plus we already have all our Fiona copies. So, yeah. We are looking pretty good on gems. Uh, I got a good bit of the chapter system done the other day, so that got us quite a bit. Now we're stuck waiting on a 7-star tavern quest, so... Um, yeah, um, I generally, right now I've been buying a profit orb every day. Um, I do not have any five, so I cannot buy <laughs> the cores yet. So, um, buying a profit orb is the next highest value. Um, so yeah, let's see, no seven stars, anything here that I think we should reroll? Maybe these. Yeah, let's reroll those. Um, I don't like taking the basic scrolls. Now, I just feel like they have essentially no value. So, I'm going to re-roll them and, of course, get another set immediately. Spirit is better. Like, if I got took those three scrolls and then dis, or just disassembled the heroes, because you're only going to get, at best, a three-star, there's no way you're going to get enough purple goo to make up for it. Like, this right here is more than you're going to get from disassembling those three heroes even if all three of them end up three stars which is very unlikely so okay no uh seven star quest here either so i am probably going to end up having to do the 3000 gem trick um from what i hear it still works so yeah that'll be interesting to see let's see if i have any more nope no more applications I still have room for uh, friends on this account, so if uh, anyone needs more friends, go ahead and send me a request. All right, we do get a heroic, a free heroic summon today too. So, and we got a three star. Okay, uh, let's do these while I'm here. Oh, I didn't turn off the thing. Okay, there we go. A light four star is actually pretty good from those. That will help out quite a bit. Clean these out. Uh, we're just gonna skip these. Oh, 
What am I missing? There we go. Go ahead. Probably something like this. Make sure we add the monster and don't forget that. All right. Just get through these. Okay, so that is all the dailies done. All right, so let's take a look here real quick. Is he gonna do that every time? <laughs> uh, we're getting there. We're getting close to bringing up our priest. Guild War. Oh, we didn't promote, guys. Okay. Oh, I deleted... Okay, I will do this later. It deleted all my lineups for that. That sucks. Sign back up for this. Okay. Let's see. What's the next important here? I think just getting her more HP would be best, probably. Yeah, I think that's what's best. Um, what do we got here? I'm saving up 10k. I pretty much bought everything out. Okay, so I'm just waiting on a refresh now. Alrighty. Looking pretty good. How are we doing on profit orbs? Because I... Only 14. Okay, so I'm probably not going to get another run on this. Um... Let's smash these out. Oh, I didn't save any of my lineups. I wonder why. I wonder what goes on with blue stacks why I didn't save my lineups. Hmm. But that's kind of good for this. So in case you don't know, since I have nine of these, what I should do is I should only use eight and then put in a hero that I know will not beat it. Um, you can add a monster as long as you know that they're still not going to beat it. And that's because you can get orange, uh, he'll fight it eight times, and then you'll get a chance at the orange artifact shards. Now, make sure, if it takes you two or three attempts to actually beat this monster anyway, make sure you save that many. So I know my team can do it in one, at least I haven't seen them fail, and watch now that I've said something, they'll not get it. <laughs> but, uh, okay, yeah, we beat it. So, all right, what do we got here? five more four days here so we're getting close to the end of our expedition here which that'll be pretty decent um uh, let's see do we have more than four days left in the event we do i wonder if i have enough profit orbs here or any Nah, I'm not going to get another complete loop. It's probably best to just save. But this is really good. Getting two battles in a row to speed up your progress is super good as long as you beat these. Um, and with an E2 Fiona, I beat most people on these. Like, I also put my team in the middle. Most people put their strongest team at the last or the first one. So I generally fight people's weaker teams, which is also quite helpful. Plus the gems is decent. So another fight. Nope. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And, okay, let's look here. Do I have any profit orbs here? One, just one. Okay. Well, that stinks. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Okay, seal land. We can, let's see. I can probably level up this Valentino and then use this Valentino. Even just for like the extra CC, he'll be pretty helpful. Um, who has my energy artifact? Was it Andrea? It's probably Andrea, right? Marax I don't use, so yeah. Check out Andrea. Energy artifact? No. Who has? I got a magic source somewhere here. Uh, 
Oh, I put it on you. Oh, it's not upgraded yet. Let's see if I can get this upgraded. And then, I'm sure, we'll just check in these time. Okay, there we go. Now we'll take that from you and put that on Valentino, wherever he went. Literally right next to her. <laughs> and there we go. So, oh, I should probably put something on her though, because what do I got for artifacts? Uh, nothing good then. Because she'll be in the lineup too, so. Probably, yeah, just this is probably fine. Let's see if I have enough to upgrade this too. I'm still, I still call this dust. A lot of, it's actually called afterglow, but I swear it used to be called dust. <laughs> is that just me? Um, or maybe I watched someone who called it dust. Oh, no, enough there. Uh, yeah, we'll worry about this later. We'll just uh, give it a good attempt or two at sea land real quick. So, right down here. Alrighty. So, Fiona. Let's put Valentino here in the back. That way, hopefully, he can get some CC off. And then we'll just fill in with the other Fionas. Uh, yeah, why not? Mm, do you have a... Do I have to level you up for that? Yeah, probably. Uh, defeat. We should probably watch it, right? <laughs> See how this goes. Last I knew, my Fiona, my E2 Fiona lived, but she got CC'd to death, so... Basically, she could not ever kill any of them. Because she just constantly was CC'd. So... That's a thing. I'm really hoping... Nope. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat this yet. I probably need uh, E3 yeah, e on her to get the Purify before I can actually do that. How close are we? Oops. I want heroes. Um, one more Dominator plus some food... Two more, plus a lot of food. A lot of food still needed. And, like, nothing. Yeah. So, we're just... We really need food right now. So, I think for now, I just kind of build up food. Let me just look at shards in general. Yeah, so... I mean, I have ten here. I could probably pop these out. Okay, there's a bit of abyss... Two, three shadows, one more uh, Emily. So that means I am one Emily away from a potential 10 star there, too. Okay. What am I? One, two, one shadow, two shadows, two darks, one fortress, another dark, another light. That's funny. I have more darks in the pack than I have the other factions. Okay. So I definitely need to save one more forest, two in sh or one in shadow, two in fortress, and I have like nothing in abyss in the bag. So don't touch the abyss shards. I can pull out all of these forest though. Oh, I don't have any more room. Let's see if I can fuse something then real quick. Mm, no. Okay, so yeah, uh, we're just uh, looking for food right now, and I really don't have anything. I wonder, maybe I should just disassemble something. I got a couple little things here. Mm, I got a lot of these shadow three stars. A lot of three stars in general. Anyone remember back when we had to have, like, specific, like, stuff? 
like you had to have uh, fail uh, in order to promote Vesa to six star and stuff. Man, that was a while ago. And then you had to have like the same um, three star for it. So you had to have like four. So you'd say four of each three star and stuff. It, it was definitely a lot harder. <laughs> uh, that's been a while though. All right. Um, yeah, let's go. Whoops. Let's go back into heroes. Let's pull out that last forest hero. Uh, yeah, we can pull this out. I got three in the bag. A DA. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I'm looking at nothing here either. Okay. All righty. Oh, DA is probably new for us. Oh, and queen. Oh, that's blood blade. So I, I guess I had a DA. Uh, did I not smash this? <laughs> I went in and challenged it and didn't smash it. I guess I'm pretty scattered brain today. All right. So Aspen Dungeon. Let's go. So I don't even know if it's worth adding these other heroes in or not. But here, here we go. Maybe I should level up the Marax and just take him just so I can throw a Demon Potion on him. Um, and see if he can clear something for Aspen. Maybe that would be a good idea. So, okay. So like I said, I am at difficult 51 here. Um, this is probably a perfectly fine wave. I think they can actually damage us though, so we are going to watch it. Uh, quickly, let's look over any purchases. Nothing. Uh, nothing, really. And a little bit here. I probably don't want the spirit. Not in this account, at least. The, the main account has been building so much, I've had to buy up all the spirit offers. So, that's something. All right, let's get into this. Let's see how she does. So this is an E2. Uh, last time that I had uh, Fiona in here, she was only E1. She might have only been 10 star even, actually. Um, so yeah, she's doing this with no problem. She was definitely E1 or less. Um, what is my record at? Difficult 75. So I got pretty far. Um, uh, that should be easy. She'll probably just clap that with her active. Alrighty. This should be easy as well. So we'll skip that one. These monster parts will be pretty good though. Um... Pretty excited to see. Fiona's actually been doing really good in Aspen Dungeon. Faceless? So this one's kind of interesting. So if you don't kill them quick enough, they can actually reduce your attack down where you do nothing, and then they'll kill you. So I am going to watch it. I don't think it's going to be an issue because it's only a solo. But there are some, like, quad... Yeah, so, okay, we had energy. So actually, we just nuked it. But there are, like, quad faceless waves. And if you're not careful, they'll surprise you and just kill you because you have no attack and you do one damage every hit <laughs> so that is a thing and solo da shouldn't be a problem yeah health didn't move okay as Medell. so this is what we are afraid of he goes straight through our shields do we think we can beat a solo as Medell? i think yes i'm gonna watch it it is two autos and then an active, so I might die. But I think we do this. Okay. Yeah. I didn't take damage. But. Oh, Bloodblade. Quad Bloodblade. I don't even know if I beat this with an active. Oh, uh, we're going to Demon Potion. Because we got to nuke one of these out right away, or else we're definitely going to lose. I think Bloodblade is actually what beat us last time I was in here, too. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Maybe I didn't have to be so afraid of that, but man, Bloodblades, they're spooky in Aspen Dungeon. Ooh, this has an Asmodel in it. <sighs> okay. I guess we go into it. Let's see. See if she targets the Asmodel. Nope. Edgar. Okay, there we go. All right, that was spooky. I did take a little bit of damage there, but it, it wasn't much. Um, in case you don't know, Asmodel, his crit marks, uh, when he crits, he so he applies these marks too, and when he crits, he um, will 
use mark damage and go through your shield, basically. It just doesn't delete your shield. It just skips past it and goes straight to your health. So, yeah. Um, Flame Strikes can actually be a little spooky, too. They, they can kind of be cheesy because they get buffs when things die. So, quad wave of them. See, yeah, I took a bit of damage there. Um, they just constantly apply the burns. That's what all those negative zeros are, you're saying? So, uh, Gurk Wave should be super easy. Ooh, I actually did a bit of damage. So, Gurk does have, like, holy damage. So, this is a solo wave and I have energy, so this should just be a one hit and done. I lost a bit of energy. Oh, actually, I lost a bit of health. So, I, that took active and two autos at least. <laughs> That's kind of spooky, actually. That means the solo blood blade waves are actually kind of spooky now, too. If they get some big crits on us, uh, it could be real, real rough. So, Walter. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I should have watched that. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Uh, Walter can, like, CC you to death. <laughs> he uh, can stun uh, anyone who's poisoned, and both him and Molassa apply a poison. So he can basically perma-stun you, which will kill a Fiona. Uh, another Asmodel. 310. Was the, la the last one was at 310 as well, right? So this should be fine. Oh, I was supposed to watch that as well. Bad habits. Don't skip as much as like I am. Solo faceless. That's fine. She did a bit of damage too. I'm actually just losing like a little bit of health on each of these. I'm gonna milk real quick. I don't think ice plank's gonna be an issue, but quad ice plank even. Yeah. See, I'm just losing like little slivers of health, which is kind of. I don't know. I kind of thought they wouldn't be breaking through the shield still. So. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I have to watch pretty much anything with Walter. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think I need energy again on this one. Because literally all of them apply poison and stuff. So, I hate to do it, but I think I have to. I really hope we just get the Walter right away. Nope. Okay, we're on Walter next. Okay. We got pretty lucky. He didn't get a stun off at all. Um, yeah. So. And then we also targeted the Walter a second. So one of the bad things about Fiona is her auto-attacking, uh, who she hits, is completely random. She picks a person, and then she marks them and keeps hitting that person until they're dead. But when that mark goes away, they'll hit a random opponent. So what happens is, is sometimes you don't hit the Walter till the last one. And he gets to CC you a bunch, and then you die. <laughs> okay, so Mirage has a bleed, and this is actually a little spooky. But I do have full energy, so I think this is totally fine. But it is a little spooky, because Mirage can do a lot of bleed damage. Okay. He didn't get a chance to stack him up, because we had energy, so... Uh, we'll at least beat our last one, which we should, because we have E2 now. So, let's see. Oh, see, there's that stun I was talking about. It stunned again. Okay, there we go. We broke out. Yeah, he stunned us like three or four times in a row right there. I'm on times three, so you might not have realized how quickly it was going, but um, I, I should probably turn it down, shouldn't I? Honor Guard. Yeah, this should be a fine wave. I have energy as well. But Honor Guard has CC too. So does Starlight. So... Starlight, notably, is one of the few heroes that can horrify. So it's like ticks and um, Aspen and Starlight and I don't know. There's a few of them, but she's in forest, which is really weird because <laughs> she can horrify while being a forest hero, which is not normal. Horrify normally does not go to forest. Um, it's normally shadow and dark. Um uh, is there an abyss? There might be an abyss that horrifies, but I don't think so. So. But yeah, it's just really weird that Starlight can actually horrify. It's 
See, I'm so used to be on times three that this feels slow. <laughs> what about you guys? I play on times three all the time. Um, unless I'm like trying to watch to actually see how much damage I'm doing and I have a reason to slow it down. I don't. I play on times three most of the time. Um, it took me a little bit at first to get used to it because I was so used to times two and everything seems so, too fast. But I adjusted to it really quickly and then... Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I, I think we might get, um, oh, what's after difficult? Is it hell? Is it, it's not hell, is it? Oh, it's like nightmare or something? Yeah, I think it's difficult nightmare, then hell? I don't remember. It's been so long since I've done Aspen Dungeon. Oh, this one's spooky. I wish I had a demon potion. Okay, I guess we're just going to go with it. We're at full HP, so we should be all right, but... If we target this Walter last, then it might be bad. Okay, we didn't get stunned there. Okay, and then we got the Walter. All right. No longer should be an issue. But if we got stunned um, like five, six times in a row there, like we did the last time against all four of them, also with Margaret doing extra damage to poison, uh, that actually could have been really scary. Now, we don't have energy on this wave this time. Last time we fought this, we had energy. So we have to auto and then energy. So let's see if they do more damage or if I just don't have to be afraid of Mirage yet. I know later, like, the quad Mirage waves are going to be very difficult for Fiona. Um, at least I assume they will be. This is actually my first time really testing a Fiona, though, because I don't have one on my main account yet. It is one of the things I am trying to build. And I'll probably pop over there and do a core here real quick at the very end and see if I could maybe get one, but... Um, yeah, see, these just buff themselves up a lot. I should really read her. I don't remember exactly what Flame Strike did. I thought she had something when units died, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, these are all at these are at ten, so maybe she does get these buffs when she gets a buff when she does an active too. Okay. Ice blink should be no issue. Another Walter wave. <laughs> it's like it's trying to keep us from getting out of difficult. And then you're still not prioritizing the Walter, huh? Oh, there's a stun. There's another stun. Okay, hitting the Walter. There's a stun. I have a lot of energy here, so if she breaks through, yeah, he's dead. That's a lot of damage. Oof, those crits. Having that black blade on her or dark blade is it's a lot. It's a good artifact for her early. So this has a blood blade. This is actually kind of scary too. I guess let's watch it. I see queen and I normally just want to skip because queen's a super easy one. But if there's a blood blade in it, I need to watch it. I actually didn't know that there was a wave with blood blade and queen. So that's good to know. It's been a long time since I did Aspen Dungeon. I did it. On my main account, let's see, it was before Scarlet Queen came out. I think Sword Flash was like brand new when I actually completed Aspen Dungeon. So that's been a bit. God, how old is Sword Flash now? <laughs> we get one every, what, three months-ish? So it's been like a year almost? No. I don't know. Maybe Sword Flash was already out. I don't remember. This is a super easy wave. I don't know why I watched this one. This one I knew I was going to win. It just takes a little bit of time because of the healer. So, Oh no, Asmodel. It's at 320 now. So it does do a little more, but I think we should be good. We've been handling these Asmodels fairly good. Um, not to say that won't change, but uh, it seems like getting E2 has definitely helped out a lot. So, Also, last time we got the checkpoint for 50, so we're also starting up a lot higher. 
which is really good because it saves a lot of your potions and stuff. I used them way too early in my last run, like I did here. I definitely used those two demon potions I had way too early. Um, I should have held them. I was just afraid, and I guess I didn't realize how much stronger my E2 Fiona is now. Um, but yeah, that's really good. Oh, there's a demon potion, speaking of it. Uh, these are all real easy waves. Belrog. Should be an easy win. Yeah, now they're not even damaging her. Gru. Okay, there's no uh, Asmodel in there, so that's fine. Okay, so Priest Team. This should be fine. Notably, Gurk has Holy Damage, so I might take a little bit of damage from this, but... Nope. No, nothing. Yeah, Gurk has, like, innate Holy Damage in his, in his passive. So, um, he can actually do a surprising amount. Oh, no. I'm going to Demon Potion this. I don't know if Demon Potion even does this. I know I should nuke one of them right away, but then it's three of them to leave marks on me. This is spooky. Okay, there's one. Mm, that hurts a little bit. Oof. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, we're good. You see, when they crit, they take chunks out of her. <laughs> Alright, this should be a skip. And that's into... Nightmare. Yeah, okay, I was right. It was Nightmare. This should be a win. So now I'm probably going to just um, next through these until she dies. I have the checkpoint done. Um, I don't think we're going to get to 50. So, I mean, as we lose health, I'll uh, milk it up. But without a demon potion, I just skip through them at this point. Um, just kind of watching and seeing what actually does damage to us. So DA... Solo DA does no damage? Okay. So I want to just kind of learn at this point, like, uh, what is actually going to hurt us? So, Gray-Eyed, okay. I think you have a bleed, but I don't think that'll get through my shield. Yeah, no. Gurk, just solo Gurk should be easy at energy, so. Oh, Bloodblade, solo. Oh, I live? Okay, I didn't think I was actually going to beat a Blood Blade. Oh. See? Blood Blades hurt. <laughs> Bait, I don't think, should be an issue. He could technically high roll a lot of damage on us, but... Meh, I think we'll be good. Unless he, like, high rolled everything. Then... Oh, he hurt us quite a bit, actually. Just a Gru Wave. This should be fine. Gru noticeably reduces your attack and your crit, I believe. So... Vessel wave should be fine. Took a little bit of damage from that vessel, actually. A Walter. Uh, this might be the end of us, guys. Potion up just for good measure. Oh, really? A little surprised. Wow, I actually did very little damage. I was probably way too afraid of those Walters earlier. If that Walter only did that bit of damage, I did not need a Demon Potion earlier on those Walters. Maybe if I save those demon potions, maybe I actually would have been able to make it to Nightmare 50. Whoops. Mistakes were made. All right. Come on. There we go. Oop. I backed out too far. Oh, that's the wrong Fiona. That's fine. They weren't going to do anything here anyway. Hey, more attack. Just a, or that that's the attack? Yeah, okay. So we're one away from maxing out attack, which is actually really good because it makes our shields bigger. So going into Aspen with her, getting this attack percent increase makes her also tankier, which is very unique. Ooh, actually, I kind of want this. I kind of want food right now. Um, oh, I did it again. That's okay.
I now get it. I get what Barry means when he says he hits the escape key too quickly. <laughs> I don't think I want to worry about him. Are we just going to cruise right up to Nightmare 50? <laughs> huh. Looks like the only thing I have to worry about is Asmodels. Like, literally the only thing. At least for now. These DAs aren't going to do anything. Ice Blink's not going to do anything. I mean, this is sweet. I mean, just give us a free ride right up to Nightmare 50. But I don't want to really jinx it, but we have not fought an Asmodel since we've been in Nightmare. So I think if we see an Asmodel, we're going to die. If it's a quad Asmodel, definitely. Uh, solo, maybe not. If we have energy, probably not, because we'll probably kill it in one hit still. Um, what do you got? No, nothing. Nothing we want here. Ooh, quad Walter. You know what? I want to watch this. I want to know how easily we beat this. So... Okay, more CC. They're really not getting through our shield, though. If Fiona would break out. Come on, come on, come on. You have so much energy built up here, Fiona. If you break out, you're just going to... You'd have enough damage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, I want to slow that down, actually. If that happens again, I'm going to slow that down so I can really see that damage number. That's a lot of damage. In case you don't know. When a hero gets hit, they build 10 energy. All energy over 100 converts into skill damage. So because she has her active skill, when she releases that, she's gaining a percentage increase of damage because she has over 100% energy. So when she was stuck there at 100% energy, CC'd, and she, they just kept hitting her, um, it was actually giving her way more damage. Even though it's unnecessary because she's going to one-shot it anyway with an active. Um, still cool. Oh, Blood Blade. What is that? Okay. Blood Blade is scary. So if we don't fight Blood Blades and we don't fight Asmodels, we actually might make it to Nightmare 50. Which is pretty crazy, because I didn't. Th I thought we were just gonna get to nightmare and then die. So quite interesting. Let's actually did a bit of damage. I don't. I don't know how Let's did. Oh no. All right, runs over. Yep, we're done. This is the end of us. Boom. Yep. Ugh. Okay, none of their active script. Oh my god. Oh, nope. There it is. Dum bum bum bum. I wish you could see the damage numbers in these. Uh, is there any way that any of these actually beat him? No, I don't think so. Right? Yeah, might as well just suicide the demon to him. Alrighty. Well, I learned. Save demon potions for Asmodel and all, pretty much only him. Uh, Blood Blades are a little spooky too, actually. So, Alright. So, is there anything else we have to do? That's all done. We've claimed all our loot, right? Yeah, so we're kind of just stuck waiting on a 7-star for the chapter system. 
Okay. Uh, this is uh, interdimensional, which I'll get later. So I'm going to swap over my other account here. And then uh, I'll pop that core. Let's see if we get something with that core. Uh, a Fiona would be fantastic. Um, Cause I did buy a core today and I did not use it. What do you think, guys? I'm at seven. Do you think I should do fate? It's a single core. I have really bad luck with fate, but I'm recording, so maybe you know uh, streamer luck. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Something like that. Ah, uh, just a Roy. Okay. Well, I tried. So I don't think I actually showed you guys how many Fiona's I have on this account. So let's do that again. Or let's do that real quick. So Fortress. Okay. So I have none of them here, right? I do have three in the bag, though. So I have three of them total. But then when I go to these, I have a Fiona here. This has a Fiona in it. Um, but I think it's going to be a carry because this says dark as well. But if I do end up getting a carry, this will be a Fiona instead. <sighs> it's hard to say because I also could do a Drake here and Drake would be really good too. But as of right now, I plan on it being a carry. And then this one has Fiona as well, right? Yeah. So this one does not. This one stops at Eloise. So, yeah, that's my plan. Currently, I have two here, so I'm at five. I could do a 10-star Fiona, but I kind of want to just wait till I get an E5, and I need to finish the projects I have currently going because I need to finish a Delacium, a uh, Drake, a Carry. Yeah. So I need to finish at least two of these first, leaving the Drake at um, two of the four here, leaving the Drake at... Um, 10 stars fine because Drake at 10 stars is actually really good. Um, I could bring him up to E5 and it would be beneficial, but not as beneficial as Carry and Delacium. Also, this Russell. Um, I'm building up to do Seal Land essentially, um, but I don't think I have it. Yeah, I have no more Russell copies. Also, look at this. <laughs> We've been building so much lately since anniversary. Our goo is abysmal. That's 6,000 goo. That's it. <laughs> so this account has been in desperate need of spirit and goo. I've just been building way too much. So I just built this Margaret up last night. And it's just a food. I'm just holding on to it for now because it is acting as a 15th 10 star right now. Um, and I got to get my imprints on Queen up higher. Um can I do any imprints here? I don't think so. Oh, I oh, I put those in the wrong node. Well, that's fine. But yeah, so this is where Queen's at right now. Uh, I'm trying to get here, but it'll be a bit. This is actually a lot of stellar to go, so yeah. Um, also, so far, I was talking on uh, my last video. I want to push for, what is it, Valiant? Or no, Defire? What's next? I'm in Pioneer. Valiant. So I'm trying to do a... Right? Oh, I'm in Pioneer. So I need Explorer still. Um, wow, I thought I was a lot further in this. But um, yeah, so I got to two without really using any of these. Um, now I do have to reset both of these. I did use, like I think, one here. And then I used two here. Of the, or no, just one here. So there was two on the other. Um, all right. Yeah, I used two here and one on the other. So I've literally only used those three protective signets. So this might be an actual good run for it. Um, I definitely know that my team can do it. It's honestly, I think the hardest part is that I don't have good artifacts. I got a pretty good team for it, but let's just watch one of these really quick. Right? Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. 
So if anyone sees something that they think would be better than what I'm currently doing, let me know. So this Ignis is set up to suicide. So this last spot, I mean, there's two spots here I toy with, right? I try Penny occasionally. I try Ithaqua occasionally as like extra damage. But then I also can just do Amon-Ra and Adrian. Or Adriana, however you call it. Him. Um, and it does pretty good. So, I don't know. Let's watch one of these real quick. A little slow on the loading. Uh, let's turn up the speed. Hmm. This Garuda is going to do a lot. She got to heal off because she had a teammate die. Gotta kill that Garuda. Her active skill is gonna destroy us, actually. Yep. I think we win this, actually. I do have the other text. He's not V4. The V4 one died, but... All I gotta do is get a lot of damage out of that uh, Garuda back there, and we win. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we win this. Good. All right. I have no more, so I'll try the other one later. But uh, I think that is going to be all for now. So uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.